Good day MEIE students who are taking MEIE IT212 which is the production of audio visual aids and devices and this is your course facilitator Sir Kenji E. Merenciano. Uh, I think most of you are wondering um, why Sir Kenji decided to upload or record this video. Um, if you can still recall uh, this past uh, month I asked you to uh, to prepare or work on your instructor materials as your project for this pen and we agreed that um, we will not meet on April 2, 9, and 16 for, for three consecutive Saturdays uh, to give you ample time to work on your project okay uh, that's why um, we will meet on 23 to give me uh, the status or I want to know the progress report in connection to your uh, materials that you're working on so to be guided I I will I will be presenting a, a project scope or uh, as as a way of presenting your uh, your progress report uh, concerning on your IM okay if you can still remember, um, I asked you to list down and identify first. By the way, identify first uh, what would be your IM um, as a requirement for this uh, STEM or course. Okay, so uh, most of you have com have complied, but there are still students so who were not able to submit or list down their names together with their material the reason why i asked you to list down or to identify your material because you're going to present class a progress report or the development of your im by means of what we call a project scope okay so when we say progress report class um, uh, this pertains to from the progress report this is exactly what it sounds like. Um, it's a document that explains um, in detail how far you've gone towards the completion of a project. When we say progress report, it outlines the activities. Uh, you've carried out the tasks you've completed and the milestones you've reached vis-a-vis -vis of your project plan. So uh, on April 23, you're going to prepare uh, you're going to present your output um, um, just give me the update uh, it doesn't necessarily mean you are done with your project just give me the status or how far have you got with your project using the project scope so this material will be uploaded in our classroom for you to review study and as your perusal while working on your um, IM okay so I presented or discussed the definition of the progress report so here um, let us discuss uh, the, the meaning of progress a project scope what are the parts or the elements so I have here the um uh, as, uh a sample uh, material don't worry class uh, this will be uploaded in your in our classroom so that you are guided on what to do as i've said a while ago when we see a uh, progress report okay from um i have to zoom in to to, to visualize the uh, the contents of this material so when we say progress report, it is a report in which you are updating information about your project. This is what exactly the meaning of this term. It is it makes possible for management and clients to stay informed about your project or so that you can you still have enough time 
uh, once the your manager your head uh, knows the status you can change or adjust the assignment the schedule so even the budget at least uh, you know what to do you have an idea of what it's like to prepare a progress report since uh, we faculty or teachers or professors also uh, if you have a project or assigned task the progress report will do to give us an update on the development let's say you are working on your research you are you are planning to prepare an extension activity or you are working on an extension project so better have a progress report or, or development so aside uh, the benefit of it is to know the status of the project the achievements or the accomplishment uh, the, re- the responsibilities of a team me- member and the issues faced or the problems encountered or and other important factors uh, that affect the completion of your project so here class um, Um, on April 23, you're going to prepare a progress report by means of what we call a project scope. Okay. So here's a, here's your sim- simple. Just a, just prepare a simple presentation with this component. Okay, I provided you this material as your guide in preparing and working your um, pro- uh, of your IM. Uh, this is the outline. Okay. Um, in in as your reference in your project scope. Okay. So class, when we say um project scope, it's part of project planning actually. Um, that involves determining and documenting a list of specific target goals, deliverables, tasks, costs, and deadlines. This document or the documentation of a project scope is called a scope of statement or a scope statement or terms of reference. Okay. All this, the reason why Sir Kenji asked you to prepare or present the development of your material to give you an idea of what is a project scope and how important it is or you may, be, you, you may apply this. To your profession or to your uh, in or discipline so what 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 will uh, uh I'll, i'll be asking you to prepare one to six uh, elements or components so let's start from the project title uh repelled by project description objectives project beneficiaries timeline Uh, joint chart or development process. Okay. When we say uh, class project title, I'm repairing um, based on the based on what you've listed. Okay, for example, Sir Caritero, he wants he will be developing a mock-up operation manual. So that will be the title of the project scope. Okay. Next is the description. So kindly tell us what is uh, the the features, the purpose, the rationale, or the reason behind why did you why do you want to come up with this ICT based or uh, instructional material? Give us the description. A simple narrative will suffice, uh, encompassing all the necessary details about your uh, project. Or your IM. The third part class is tell us about your objectives, your purpose of why do you want to develop this IM or material. Okay. The fourth is um, uh, we're going to prepare uh, who will be the benef- uh, the, the benefactor or the beneficiaries of this IM. Let's say your your mockup is intended for beset. Stager students who are taking um, uh, microprocessor system, something like that. Okay, so these are your target beneficiaries. Next class is you're going to prepare uh, a timetable 
or what we call a gun chart or a uh, or a timeline or a project timeline so here it is okay. so a uh, gun chart class is commonly used uh, usually represented in a graphical depiction of a project schedule so here uh, you need to prepare uh, you need to know your target. You need to know your. Uh, you have to plan carefully your activity, step by step process for you to come up with an IM or or a uh, or the the course requirement. Okay. It's a usually based on the presentation class. It's a type of bar or a chart showing the start and the finish date. Let's say. Uh, you started in January and you end up the the scope of your project is until December. So in the context of uh, production of audiovisual HD devices, perhaps you started working on your um, on your IM last probably February or March. So the end of our sem is until third week or second or third week of May. So your deadline will be uh, second or third week okay, on, that, on that day so try to identify the things or the activities needed in order for you to develop your IM so you can consider this as your reference but uh, for your project you will be given at least three or four months okay to prepare your uh, timetable your project timeline or simply your uh, gun chart okay so going back um, as I've said this will be the template of your uh, of your progress report to be presented on April 23 okay. so just present us the gist for the important details I just give you the template so I so you are guided on what to do and you can use this project scope to your uh, field of uh, to your discipline and or in your organization okay. so after presenting the, the gun chart to the timeline you're going to tell us okay this is the uh, uh, you need to be honest with me on and discuss or present to us the development of your or the development process of your item so how far have you gone what are the accomplishments for these dates you're able to do and tell us okay and you can also cite issues or problems encountered so this is the coverage or scope of your uh, of your progress report that's why it is called project scope so i repeat class this will be your template or reference in preparing your progress report okay so um Again, class, I'm reminding some uh, the others to please work on your IM. Uh, you still have you still have you still, you still you have the time, okay? And there's no excuse that you are not able to work on that. Another thing, class, is um, you need to prepare also. Uh, you need to accomplish. The learning tasks or activities posted in our classroom uh, last uh, this this was uh, last midterm so again i'm reminding you so that you will not be incomplete for this course that's why sir kenji from time to time is constantly reminding each one of you i i sometimes uh, email uh, you just to inform that there are uh, you skip this uh, task or assignment Okay, so that you are guided okay again you're going to present a project scope as your progress report or the development of your IM that you're working on so I will give you an example okay I will give you an example so that you are guided so here uh, in your uh, in the project scope let's see uh, I have a sample okay so uh, you, you may consider this template the sample uh, the given sample here is uh, about the subject in this making 
So it, it is about carry out body measurements and calculation. So the the one who made this uh, uh, presented the description of the project. So why is it important to take body measurements or correct measurements in a custom made dress? As well, uh, what uh, the essence of taking body measurements in garments industry and how will it impact uh, this uh, the project or the material that she is working on okay so tell us the objective what is the purpose or the reason why you develop this material for a specific topic okay you should specify first what is the stop what are the, what what is this, uh, the the topic and what are its objectives okay so so again um, this will be your template the fourth one is the beneficiary who will benefit with this um, with this material so based from the given sample the beneficiaries for this project are the dressmakers and all the students taking the course dressmaking or the Tibet student and the next uh, is the project timeline so kindly discuss or present to us the step-by-step -step process or the planning the triple planning on how we're going to come up with the IM and here the last one that I'm requiring you is to present to us uh, what method did you use in preparing your IM so I already uh, discussed uh, last time about the different instructional models or, or, or principles so you can use the ADI or analyze design develop implement and evaluate phase so this is this the acronym for that uh, this is this model is used for instructional designers uh, educators on preparing uh, the training materials for for developing a module or instruction materials for a specific course or subject so you can use this don't worry class i will provide you a copy of this assured reference and on the presentation of your progress report okay so again class um, on april 23 saturday you're going to present the status of your project and i'm also reminding you to accomplish the remaining activities or tasks uh, that is posted in our uh, classroom so if you if you have questions queries or yeah questions or queries clarifications or concerns uh, about this activity or uh, anything that is relevant uh, to this course feel free to message me so thanks for listening uh, keep safe everyone and good luck to your uh, uh, presentation Zombie apocalypse.